World Hearing Day is an annual advocacy event which is promoted by the World Health Organization. We realize that there is a need to raise awareness about hearing loss, uh, about its causes, its prevention, also how to address hearing loss both with the community and also at the level of the policymakers. The whole theme of, the, of this event this time was uh, protect and check your hearing. And I think it's two aspects we really want to enlighten. One event is protect, uh, protection, which means prevention. Be sure that you don't acquire a hearing loss. The second one is to create awareness. If you check your hearing, people are aware that something is wrong and needs fixing or needs at least support with, with hearing care. Thirty-five million Europeans have a disabling hearing loss and it costs Europe 185 billion euro a year not to adequately treat these people. Two out of three of the 35 uh, million do not have a hearing aid or other assistance, which means that the whole of Europe and each individual person loses a lot of life quality and loses a lot of money. If we uh, don't know that we don't hear, it is a problem to, uh, to be involved in society. It's a problem that you are not able to recognize that you are not here. So usually others tell you that something is wrong with you. WHO has uh, launched an app called the Hear WHO, Hear Who, uh, which you can download through on your Android or your iOS devices. Uh, and through that, sitting in your own home in any quiet corner uh, for five minutes, you can get your, a sense of how good your hearing is. And if it isn't good enough, you need to then, of course, follow it up with a proper hearing test uh, to be taken with a professional. One of the most important things is legislation. Legislation to, to, to do it on the several issues, including the, these apps and uh, iPhones and uh, Android, and uh, also in, the, in these music events and the concerts, how to deal with this. Because this really loud, 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 too loud music could really uh, seriously uh, affect it, your, your health. Even if young people are aware that they are listening in an environment which is very loud, that in could, could create a hearing loss, more than 80% don't even use any hearing protection. The arguments they are using is that it will be uncomfortable, they will not be able to understand anybody, they will no longer enjoy the music. If you think that you will not understand anymore in noise when you use hearing protection, this is completely wrong. With hearing protection in your ears, you understand just as much or even better than unprotected. We should set up systems so we detect a hearing loss very, very early and then we should ensure that the people with a hearing loss, they simply get the aid they need. Then we will have a much better, healthier population in Europe. Get your hearing checked, go to your doctor or go to a hearing professional and figure out what is the best way to help it.